Welcome to The Body Coach TV. This is a 20 minute full body hit workout using no equipment. So all you need really is a mat if you've got one, a sweat towel, a water bottle, and you're good to go. Um, I've got 10 exercises planned for us. We're gonna do two rounds in total, and the working sets are 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds rest. So you get recovery after each exercise, um, and if you get to a move that isn't suitable, that you don't enjoy, simply skip it out, have a bit more rest, or switch it for something you like, like a run on the spot or star jumps or something different. So first move, we're gonna do two squats. So nice flat feet on the ground, sit down into two nice controlled deep squats just to warm the legs up. Then we're gonna walk our hands out of like this into a high plank position. Walk back, stand up, repeat. So two squats, one walk out. Here we go, so control, let's just do them nice and slow. One, warm these legs up, open up the hips. Two, hands on the ground, walk into a high plank. Just walk out into in that nice strong plank position. Walk back, stand up, repeat. Two again. Getting a little bit deeper into the squats each time, keeping those feet flat on the floor, walking those hands out again. Don't dip the back, you know, don't arch, keep the abs engaged. Walk back, touch the toes, reach up. Let's do one more of those. Squat down, squat, and walk out. So high plank, walk back, and relax. Perfect. That's our first exercise. Great one just to open up the hips, get the shoulders and wrists moving. Okay, so next exercise, down on the ground, we're going to do a downward dog. So downward dog position, which is going to be like this. So we're going to push into a downward dog. Then we're going to step our left foot by our left hand. Then back, downward dog, and then the right foot. So we're getting a really good hip open up for the shoulders as well. So downward dog, pushing the feet into the floor. Step the left foot by the left hand if you can. Step back, downward dog again. Right foot steps out, so you'll really open up those hips. Get a bit of a mobility warm up exercise, but still great on your shoulders and your lats are working, opening everything up. So push into the downward dog, hands on the floor, push down, step out. Push down, step out, perfect. Last couple of reps, create that nice downward dog shape to pushing the heels towards the floor. Step the foot, if you can, one more rep. And relax, so amazing for Open up your lats, your shoulders, but also your hip flexors. Really good one just to sort of get your body ready for the more intense stuff that's coming. So next I'm gonna do, we're basically gonna do like a, a bit of a half burpee, so not a full chest and floor burpee. We're gonna go down like this. We're gonna go down, out, and as you come up, one, two. So drive those knees up. So one half burpee, two knee drives. So step back, jump the feet out, and then it's one, two, and repeat. So jump out, come up, one, two, and repeat. Jump out, and then really get a nice knee, drive one on each side, out, stand up tall, one, two, keep repeating that. And out, and again, one, two. We're gonna build the intensity up this workout. It's gonna get a bit more spicier as we get through. One, two, knee drives high. Last one, knee drive up, one, two, and relax, brilliant. Right, now our heart rate is starting to rise. We're off to a great start. Next thing I'm gonna do is um, a bear crawl position. So imagine we're on all fours like this. We're gonna lift ourselves up, so just knees slightly to the ground, and we just walk in that position. So we walk out to the right. Okay, so we're not, we're not in a full plank like this. You're in this position here, so your knees are just off the ground, your quads are working, and you step up to the side, off we go. So step to the side, keep walking. So knees are just hovering off the floor, it really fires up the quads, it really challenges the quads, so we're not having those legs straight. We're not in a full plank, we're in a bare crawl position. Walk out to the left, knees just off the floor, walk out to the right. So come on, you've got 15 seconds. Remember it's 10 moves, two rounds. So your shoulders are going to be burning now, you're going to feel it in the quads. Just going left to right, use the width of the mat if you want. Ah, ah. That really puts a lot of pressure on your quads, so good strength exercise for your quads and also your core. Shoulders are getting a little blast. Right, next exercise, up on our feet. This is number five. We're gonna go for some frog jumps now. So if you can't do frog jumps, you could just do normal squats on the spot, just touching the floor. Frog jumps, we're trying to go forward, so we're trying to get that forward momentum. Okay, so really big jumps forwards. Shuffle back and repeat that. So fingers to the floor. Wide stance of the feet, land, spring, and jump. 
Really quite explosive, just shuffle those feet back. Again, if it's too difficult, just go wide on the spot. Touch the floor, up. Touch the floor, up. You can obviously adapt the exercise, depending on how hard you want to train how your knees are feeling. Get down low, big jumps. Oh. Little shuffle back, last set. So big burn on the quads here. Ah. And rest, ouch. Right, recover. And that's our fifth exercise complete. Next I want to do, we're now going to do a, an actual plank, so a long plank, long arms, legs are straight, we're going to walk with the plank, when you get down one end of the, of the mat, you're going to do one push up, so you can obviously do the push ups on your knees as well, so walk the hands along, let's go walk, 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 when you can either drop to the knees for a push up, or do a full push up, and you walk back again, so walking back across, one push up at each end if you can. So lateral plank walks into one strong, big push up if you can. As I said, you can do them on the knees. 15 seconds to go. Just walking those hands along. The strength is coming through the shoulders here, the chest, the triceps. But keep those abs engaged so the plank is strong. Last push. And relax. Awesome, right, that's six complete. We're going to stand on the ground on the mat. For a, I love this exercise, it's called a crab toe touch. So if you find this too difficult, you can just do this where you just lift up, just push your hip, hips off the ground, you feel this open up the shoulder. It's a nice, even just to stretch the shoulders out to create some you know, mobility there. Just push through the chest and shoulders. If you want to make it tough, you're going to touch the foot look. So go left. This is where the crab toe touch work comes in because you're trying to sort of keep your body off the ground, hips off the floor, engage the glutes and the hamstring, and from there, Touch that toe, or if not, maybe try to touch the knee. So go left knee, right knee, but you'll feel the back of the triceps working out like the back here when you lift up onto that one hand. And then pop in. Right, last 10 seconds. Trying to keep that bump up, don't drop it down, let it stay up. High as you can. Keep that bump up high. And relax. So yeah, that really, really targets your triceps a lot. But it is hard. If you can't do that, just try and do a hold like this, a bridge hold, or you can obviously do little pulses. You'll feel your abs and your hamstrings and glutes, but also really open up your chest, so amazing exercise. Right, next one, number eight. We're gonna start in this position here. We jump the feet back, and then we land in this like, squat position. Okay, so kick back, land in a half squat, hold for a second. So we're not coming up, we're not standing up like this, we're staying in the squat, so it's like a half burpee squat hold. Half burpee, squat hold. If you can't do the jump, you can always step the feet back and step them in and hold. But you're trying to get those feet flat on the ground, hold that position there, so the strength coming in the quads. Ah, the strength coming through those legs. Ah, let's go, last one. Let's hold that last squat, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it to finish. Hold, hold, ah, and rest. Ah, Whoa. That fires and quads up. Right, as we can see, it's starting to sort of pick up the intensity now. Next exercise is a sprint. So, just fast feet. We're trying to really raise the heart right now. So, 35 seconds of sprinting on the spot. Are you ready? This is our ninth exercise. Let's go. Nice fast feet. We've got one more after this, and we go straight back through. Second round, we're going to try and step up a little bit. A bit more intensity on the second round. A few more reps, a little bit quicker. Right, this is, in my world, a jog. I'm jogging, so this is a sprint. Knees are high. Come on. Fast feet, let's go. 10 seconds. Let's go, knees up. Fast down, push it. Push to the bell. That's the difference, that little 10% push, that little turbo at the end. That takes your heart rate up. Okay, so next exercise. We're going to start with our feet together like this. We'll do two power squats. So you go down nice and low and come up. One, two. So let's go power squat, power squat, knee drive, knee drive. One, two, knee up, knee up, and repeat. One, 
two, knee drive, lift it up, come on, let's go. Lift up, work hard now, 20 seconds left. One, two, that's it, nice deep breaths. Finish on a high now because we're gonna go back through for our second round. No break in between, straight in. 10 seconds, ah. Knee drive, knee drive, last squats. Down, down, rest, and rest. Right, that's our halfway point. Oh, a stitch. Right, ten, 10 minutes complete. That's the first but the easy part. Now we've got to mentally stay stronger to go back through for a second round. So two, so two squats, one walkout now. So two squats into the walkout, a little bit quicker the squats, a little bit quicker the walkouts, go a bit faster. Let's go. So it's one squat, one, two hands on the ground, walk them out, plank, walk back, stand up, go again. Let's go. One. Two, step and walk. Walk, 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 plank, walk back. Stand up, two squats. One, two, and again, walk, 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 walk. Hands, walk back, squat for two, come on. Work these legs, fire them up. Last 10 seconds. Ooh. Ah. Come on, last few squats are finished. Ah, and rest. Oh, a little drink. Doing great. Any part of you wants to quit, it's okay. Miss one out if you need to. Miss one out of an extra minute rest, but don't quit. Let's get to that last exercise. Yeah, miss one or two out if you need to. Recover, get your breath. Then we'll go again. So downward dog into those climbers. We're stretching the hip flexors. So downward dog, create that shape here, that climb the downward dog shape. Then try to step that foot if you can in line or be on the foot. So downward dog, step. Push into the downward dog, stretch. Open up those lats, push the heels to the floor, really get the downward dog movement. Really stretch open, step the foot, open up the hip flexors. Great little mobility exercise, this one. So downward dog, into that nice big stretchy climber. Right, 10 seconds. Scrape for your shoulders, this. Really create space in your shoulders. And relax. If you've got any tightness, you'll feel that through one side or one of your hips. You know, your foot might become here or mine and there or the other, so you'll know that that's tighter. And we're working towards bringing those symmetry symmetrical. All oh, right. Next up, we've got the burpee into those two knee drives. Okay, so it's not a full burpee. We're just going to kick out that next kick out. One. Really explode up. Really like explode up. Let's go. So kick out. Come up. One. Two. Drive those knees up. Come on, let's go. Knee, knee, and repeat. Nice and quick. Go fast if you can. It's you against the clock. It's you against your own body, your own reps. How many can, can you beat what you did last time? 15 seconds left. Come on. Knees wide, knees wide. Come on, last one. It's got the last one, isn't it? Knee, knee. And recover. Right, I'm sweating now. The heart rate starting to climb. Let's try and sustain it, maintain a high heart rate now for this whole workout. So we're doing the bear crawl, lateral walks. So remember, we're not in that full plank. We're in the all fours position, like this. Lift knees just off the ground, and then we walk. Okay, so you're in this position. You're not like this in the plank, you're in this bear crawl position. Let's go crawl along. Walk hands and feet along. Put your quads working. Put your shoulders working, your core. A little walk to the left. A little walk to the right. God, it really, really puts the pressure on the quads. 20 seconds. Come on. Let's work through this session together. Leave it all on the mat. Leave your stress, your anger, your frustration. If you had a bad day, if you're a little bit down or flat, just leave it on the mat. Replace it with positive energy, with fitness, and with a sense of, you know, we smashed it, we are smashing it, we're already there, we're halfway through. Oh. And always remember how you feel at the end of it, I always remember that one saying I say a lot, you never regret a workout, you always feel better afterwards, it takes a few minutes for you to sort of, you know, if you're a bit sick and lightheaded, but it's amazing what it does to your mind, you know, when you finally feel those endorphins come. Okay, frog jumps, frog jumps, so we, if you can, we jump forwards, one, two, Three, little shuffle back. Do the nice big, get the height, but also the forward movement too. 
Get that big jump distance. Good. Jumping back. So shuffling back, jumping forwards. Ah. ah. So as many as you can. If you can do four or five, go for it. One, two, three, four. Ah. Okay, last set. Last set. Ah. Oh. Cool. That was a hot set. Right, we're going into those planks again. So back onto the upper body. It's the lateral plank, so full plank position. And we're going to try and do a press up at each end. If your shoulders are in bits and you can't do a full push up, drop to your knees and do a push up. So do one push up at each end. So plank walk and then drop to the knees and then push up if you can. Okay, so we're shuffling the hands along, walking the feet along, much straight body. Then we get to the end, drop down, full push up if you can, off on the knees. Let's go, how many can we get in? How many sets? Push up, can we get in here? Come on, strong chest and triceps now. Full extension, knock out the top. Last one at the other end. Last push up to finish. Here we go, final rep. Cool. Oh. Sweating now. This is great. I love that we can do this. Like 20 minutes, no equipment, anywhere. You can do it in your living room, you can do it on a hotel, in a hotel room, on the floor. It's like this is the kind of equipment, so the kind of workout you can always tap into on those days when you've just got no time, when you're stressed and busy, you've got no equipment. Right, crab toe touches, number seven. So just lift up and hold this if you want. Just hold that, feel that stretch through your chest, through your triceps. And then we're going to touch the toes if we can. If not, you just stay in position. Drive glutes off the foot, you know, glutes up, hips off the ground. Stretch, oh, such a good stretch for your chest. Over here, your, for your biceps and your shoulders. Oh, right, hold, hold that position and tap if you want. Keep tapping. Uh, come on, five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Oh yeah, that's a good, really good mobility because I've got such tight chest and when I push through there like that and feel that open up, oh that's good. Right, we're on. Number eight, we've got that little kind of half burpee into that squat hold. So land on those feet flat on the ground and then rather than come up, like hold that squat even for like a second or two. So let's go keeping the feet back, jump forwards, land, hold, 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 drop again, out, in. Out, in, good, but land those feet flat on the ground. So if you need to, go wider them, turn them out if you need to. Let's get that second when you pause. The strength through the quads and the glutes is unbelievable. 15 seconds. Ah, ah, come on. Last 10. You've got the strength here, land those feet flat. Last one, we'll hold at the top. Hold, hold, hold it. Ah. Oh, brutal. Oh, okay, little drink. I felt that one. So, last two moves, the sprint, and let's really go for it this time. Let's really go for it. Okay, so fast feet, knees up high, let's go. Come on. Knees up high. Come on, final sprint. Lift them up. 25 seconds to go. Ah. Ah. Bit quicker now. Ah. Come on, quicker now. Lift, lift those knees. Okay, 10 seconds. Go quicker, fast. Heart rate up. Work hard. Come on, work hard. Let's go. Push. Five, four, three, two, and one. That does get the heart rate. So burpees and run on the spot. Straight up there, max heart rate almost. Oh. So last move, we've got those two power squats and then knee, knee, you lift those knees up. Last move, feet together to start with. So jump out, let's go. One rep, two reps, and then it goes knee, knee, repeat. One, two, knee, knee, good. 
Good effort, you've done well today, come on. This is it, last push, last exercise. 20 seconds to go on the clock. One, two, touch the floor, touch the floor, touch the floor. One, two, bring it to the floor. Ah, final 10 seconds, we're finishing. Let's go, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Oh, oh. That's a great workout. Do you know what? 20 minutes. People often ask me, is that enough? You know, when you train like that, and you really go for it, all out intense, max effort, heart rate's through the roof. You're not just burning energy and calories now, it's like there's a post-workout kind of a, you know, energy expenditure, which is incredible. So HIIT training is very effective. If you're short on time, if you haven't got a lot of equipment, if you can't afford a gym membership or an app, you know, this is an example, you can do it. You can always do it, you can find time. And all you've got to do is keep coming back, press play, and I'll get you through it. Well done, hope you enjoyed the session. If you want to see more workouts, subscribe to the channel here on The Body Coach TV, it's completely free. I've also got an amazing app called The Body Coach app on Android and uh, iOS, which is truly changing lives with tailored meal plans and workouts. That's also available if you want to give it a go. And um, yeah, either way, I'm here for you. On the app, on YouTube, on Instagram, I share lots of free content because I want, I want it to be accessible. I want it to keep coming back. I want to get you fitter and stronger. And if you keep coming back with me, Trust me, you'll get there. Well done, have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Another workout on the Body Coach TV. Good luck.